Hey, hello, crochet friends. Welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. This is Sylvia. And before I proceed with showing you today's project, I'm just giving you a little teaser back here. I would like to um, ask for your indulgence as I bring you this public service announcement. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually have something that uh, I mentioned in my last video, but um, I know I missed a lot of you, so I'm going to repeat myself. Uh, for those of you who already heard this, be patient with me. <laughs> I would appreciate that. So what I would like to uh, bring to your attention is that very recently, YouTube has started a brand new feature, and it is called Super Thanks. And what this does is it allows my viewers to give me a nice big thank you in the form of a tip jar. How cool is that? If you see below the video in the white space, it says thanks. If you click that, this is what pops up. And it allows you to uh, show your support for my work um, if you are so inclined. And of course, if you do this, if you give me a, a super thanks, I will be forever grateful. Uh, I, I'm not sure how many people really realize that YouTubers don't make a whole lot of money on here. There is the rare uh, big money makers that, that do very well, but for the smaller channels like mine, uh, not so much. <laughs> so all the work that goes into uh, bringing you these videos, these tutorials, these patterns, you know, you get it for free. And, you know, that's the nature of, of uh, YouTube. And this is fine. I truly enjoy what I do, truly. Um, but it takes so much work. And I know I, I mention this fairly often, um, just so that there's an understanding out there that it takes me at least a full week of working seven days a week, sun up to sundown, and that is no exaggeration. This is how I'm able to put out almost weekly uh, tutorials, brand new designs, and that takes a lot of work. So for those of you who would like to say thank you, I am so thankful for you. So that's enough of that. I just wanted to make sure that people knew that this was a new feature and I will probably bring this up every now and again because it is new. So um, I do get a lot of new viewers um, with every tutorial. So not everybody has heard this. Okay, so thank you. Thank you again for your patience. Now let's get on with the show. So in this tutorial, we are working on this crochet top for women, and it is a great pattern for crochet beginners. It's fairly easy. Now this can be for um, summer or winter. As you can see, it's got a very open weave, so it is meant to um, have another top underneath. So in the summer, you could just throw on a little tank top underneath. Um, in the winter, you can put on a long sleeve t-shirt, and this will take you through all four seasons. Now, the materials that we are using, Yarn B, Yarntopia is the yarn. It's a number two fine, and the color is gold. We will use a larger hook than you would normally use for a number two yarn. This is an H or a five millimeter. You'll also need scissors and a yarn needle. Now, the tutorial will be for a size small. For larger sizes, I am going to ask that you go to the blog, crazycoolcrochet.com. And there you will find a lot more detail, you know, the free pattern, the written pattern. And in the description area below the video, the white space, you have to open that up. And it will give also more detail as far as how much yarn was used. Uh, the dimensions and all that. So 
either down in the white space or over at the blog. And of course the written or the printable pattern will be available at my Etsy shop which is right here. And again I will leave links for the blog and the Etsy shop down in that white space. Let's get started. All right now for a size small we are going to start with a chain of 71 and this will be one of the main panels. We will need two of the main panels for the front and the back and then two panels for the sleeves. I'm going to start with a swatch here. So just a, a little bit just to show you the stitches. Okay, now this is how I like to start my slip knot. I just put the hook in front of the yarn and then twist it all the way around. When you do your first chain, that creates your knot right there. If you need help with the beginning stitches, I'll leave a little box right up above that you can click and that takes you to the beginner tutorials. Now we are going to be working in what is called the back loop only for this row only. And I'll show you how to do that first and then I'll explain why. Now my first chain shrunk up on me so let me do that one again. Okay now in the second chain from the hook, not counting the loop on the hook, there's the first one, there's the second one. So if you turn this over the chain just a little bit, you'll see those loops in the back, the little bumps in the back, that's where we're working. Rather than going into the front, we're going into the back. Now the first one is always tight, so let's hope I get this without too much trouble. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now if I turn this, there's that next little bump. Whoops. And there's the next one. So you're going into each chain in that back loop all the way across. And the reason we're doing this is so that we don't need to then put on a border at the end. This creates a much cleaner first row, nice and flat on the bottom. Okay, so keep going. When you get to the end of the row, you should have 70 back loop single crochets. Now we're going to chain two at the end of the row and turn. Okay, now into that very first space, right next to that turning chain, we're going to work a half double crochet. So you've got three loops on the hook and you pull through all three, that's a half double. And then we'll do that again into the next space. Okay, so you yarn over, pull through three loops on the hook, pull through all three. Now chain two. Now we're going to skip two spaces and then do the half double into the next space. And again, a second one into the next space. Chain two, skip two, half double in the next. Now as you'll notice, we're working under those two chains, or the two uh, strands that form the chain at the top of the row. See the chain there? So we're working under the two strands. Okay, so now we still need that second half double. Chain two, skip two, half double, and keep going across the row. When you get to the end of the row, you'll have four spaces left. So you've done your two chains and now you're going to skip two and half double in the next and then half double into that very last space. Now you can see that chain right there. So that indicates that is your last stitch. Okay, so go under those two strands, three loops, pull through, 
There's your half double, chain one, and turn. There you go. Got a nice open weave, which is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, now into that first space, we're doing a regular single crochet. Now in that next chain right there, we're going under the two strands for a single crochet. Now in the space, the big space, we're doing two single crochets. And that's what we will be repeating all the way across. Okay, so we're working into the actual chain, not the space. Single crochet. Now into the next chain, single crochet. Two single crochets into the big space. And that one we do work into the actual space. Okay, so single crochet in the chain, single crochet in the next chain, two single crochets in the big space. So repeat that all the way across. Okay, now to clarify, when you've done your two chains in the big space, don't go into that next chain. Go into the center here. And then into the teeny tiny one. Okay, now we're coming to the end of the row. Go ahead and enter your single crochet into the chain. And then a single crochet into that very last one. It's actually into the turning chain. Now chain two. So those would be your repeat rows. Row two and three. Okay, so now, again, into the first space, we're doing a half double. Into the next space, another half double. Chain two, skip two, half double into the next, half double into the next, chain two. So do that across. Skip two, half double, half double, skip two, half double, half double. And at the end of that row, skip two, enter your half double in the next space, and then there's your last little chain there. So enter that last half double. Chain one, turn. Okay, so now as for that last single crochet row, again, starting in the first space, regular single crochet, into that teeny tiny chain, single crochet, two single crochets in the big space, whoops, okay, go into that center chain for a single crochet, single crochet in the teeny tiny one next to it, two in the space. Keep going across and repeat those two rows until you complete your panel. And you will have 70 single crochets for each single crochet row. Now you would have worked the main panel for 57 rows, five, seven. You will end on a single crochet row and make sure that you work that last single crochet row nice and neat and this is because there will be no border on here so that's going to be the neck and it will drape once we seam it the neck will drape down a little bit now we're going to do the sleeves and remember make two of these panels so now the sleeves we do exactly the same way so just go back to the main panel Except we're going to start with a chain of 43 and we will be working with 42 single crochets. So again for size adjustments 
head over to crazycoolcrochet.com. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, we do the sleeve for 53 total rows. And again, end with a single crochet row. Now we are going to attach our two panels at the shoulder. And you want the right sides to be touching each other and the wrong sides will be up facing you. So this is the right side and you know that because there's the tail from the foundation chain. This indicates the right side. Okay, so here's the other one. That's the right side, so we have to flip that over. Now we're going to take our yarn needle with a length of yarn. Start at the corners. This is the shoulder, there's the neckline, and the other shoulder. Okay, so start in the cornermost stitch under the two strands on both sides. Now I like to tie my end just to make it extra secure. And I knot it a couple times. And now I'm using a whip stitch where we just go round and around. Okay, so again under two strands on each panel. So just continue this to your desired neckline. And it does help if you, <laughs> which I did not do, but uh, because I've done this so many times, but I should do this for you. Insert maybe some um, stitch markers where you want your neckline to start and to end. And all I use for stitch markers is a contrasting strand of yarn just to mark where I stop the shoulder. So you determine the width of the neckline. I will probably do about seven inches. Now to finish off that seam, just do your last stitch. And then I like to go under several strands, just one strand, but across a few stitches just to get it away from the neckline. And then tie it. Or knot it or however you like to finish your tails. Then do the same on the other side and then we'll attach the sleeves. Now to seam the sleeves, you take the front and back panel, open it up, wrong sides facing up, take the sleeve, wrong side facing up, find the center of the sleeve and match it up to the seam of the shoulders. And it might help to count the squares, like how many squares from the seam will you end so that it's nice and even. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So seam it the same way that you seam the shoulders. I usually start right here. And I gather these together. And work like that. Now for the sleeves. We've still got the panels wrong sides up. And we are going to seam the side and under the sleeve. Now make sure when you are seaming these panels that your rows are lining up. So your squares line up. And just do the same whip stitch. Now this is optional, but I'm going to leave three or four inches open at the bottom. So you've got like a little flap opening here and then start the seaming and then going up and around. 
And here is the finished crochet open weave tap for women. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, you can turn this into a beach cover up very easily. Go up at least two sizes and that will accommodate the hips and the rear end. Because right now, of course, it only goes uh, a bit below the waist, uh, maybe to the top of the hips. So you need to make this wider and longer. So for longer, just add as many rows as you want for whatever length you want. And of course, skip the sleeves. And then leave a nice wide opening for the armhole. So only seam up for as wide as you want the armhole to be. And there you go, a nice beach cover-up. You might want to switch to cotton yarn. Appreciate you guys so much, and, and thank you for your support. Don't forget the thank you button on the bottom. <laughs> thank you, guys. I'll see you on the next one.